Wonderful happened. I was thinking, what am I going to play tonight? And I started practicing these things, and then I was like, you know, th there's this love song that I wrote when I was, I think, about 18. And I could never finish it. And I thought, well, why don't I just finish it tonight? I've been waiting to finish this song for a long time. And tonight I just realized it could just be done. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the way that I am mad. I, as I'm saying this, I'm realizing, oh, this is like talking about love. Like this love song does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the way I imagined it would be. It doesn't imagine, it doesn't have to be the way that I, I planned on it being. I can just, I can just play it as it is. When the moon 
So this boy I was in love with. La, 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 la. I, I found him so sweet. I know that others didn't. La, 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 la. Almost like we had this secret. This this secret kind of connection. He was like the bad boy in town. And there were these like these secret things that we did. Like there was this old it was this old abandoned house and we we would go there and we would uh, we would just walk walk around and just kind of imagine like you know what if it was our house and then sometimes there was this there was this field of penny royal mint and I, I don't remember how we did this, but somehow we ended up, we would sleep out there. And there, there's, as I started singing this song tonight, I, there were so many memories, so many things that I hadn't thought about for so long, like going to that house and, and then remembering the smell of his jacket. And remembering, I remember one night out, I was walking out in the dark, you know, hoping that I would run into him. And um, walked out and there was this pasture that I was walking out in. And, you know, just, just, just feeling the, the, and I was barefoot for some reason. And just walking in this, I don't know, this dirt and this mud and hoping that he would show up. And I think he did show up that night. Yes, of course he showed up. That's why I remember the smell of his jacket. <sighs> and that's the same boy that a few nights ago that I sang the song Sweet Goodnight about, the same boy. And <clears throat> I don't, we used to drive in my car. I had this old Ram, no, what did I have? I had an Opal and I had, um, had painted it green. Anyway, we, I remember we would drive, I would, he might not have even had a license. I, I would be driving in the car and we would drive together and I would sing this song. Black, black, black is the color of my true. Though I 
sing him black 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 because because his hair wasn't black oh can can't you see, see that little turtle dove sitting under the mulberry tree but the reason that i remember this maybe i just sing him black 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 i don't know what i sang him but what i do remember is one day him getting well, he was always quiet. But then he was, I was like, "Well, what's the?" Or I said something like, "Like, um, I don't, I don't like when you sing that song, or something like that." And I, and I said, "Why?" Because I, I mean, like, it. I this was like how I told him that I loved him, because I didn't know any way uh, else to do it. And he said, well, "What? What if?" My cheek is not soft. What is my face? What happens when my face isn't soft? You know, will, will you, you know, what happens then? And I just, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know that feeling. But, but that's not how I felt about him. And I like, I wanted him to grow up. I uh, wanted us both to grow up and sing you a song in the still of the night. You are, you are my love. I sing you a song when the moon doesn't shine. You are, you You're gone, you're gone, you're so far away. Because when he would kind of disconnect, he was just so, so disconnected. And still. I've, I don't I don't think I've ever sung this for anybody maybe parts of it I don't I don't know I don't think so because it wasn't I had the I had the reality wrong I had the reality that it wasn't a finished song so I couldn't sing it didn't sound like what I wanted it to sound like that's crazy Ah, so, 29th day of love songs, and what I'm learning 
is that you don't have to wait until it's ready. You don't have to wait until it's perfect. You don't, you can, you can have an idea and you can, you can play it as you go. So when I started this, <clears throat> my goal was to learn about vulnerability because I was in a, um, a goals group at the end of last year. I'm in a new goals group now, but it was, I was in a goals group and I had all my goals. I had like three goals. That's all we're allowed to have in this group. And, um, <clears throat> but my, la my third goal was actually like three goals together. Anyway, I finished and I, I you know, re realized several of my goals, but there were these three that I just didn't do, three things I didn't do. And I was like, I just didn't make any movement on these at all. And one of the other people in the group said, I'm curious, you know, why, you know, why these goals, you know, what is it about these goals that if you did achieve them, what would happen if you did achieve them? And at that moment, I realized that if I did achieve those goals, I would be in a much more vulnerable position in my life emotionally. And, and I realized that's why I was avoiding them. <clears throat> And so I thought, well, so now what I have to do is develop that muscle of emotional vulnerability so that then I can, because they are the most important goals to me. They were ab about, you know, sharing um, parts of my life that, that are really important um, and, and w work that of, of mine that's really important to me. So I thought, aha, Valentine's Day. Well, that's pretty vulnerable when you're single. So how about if I play 30 days of love songs and find out and develop that, that part, that vulner emotional vulnerability. And it's been incredible to find, you know, to, to find out that even on the nights I didn't want to come because I was tired or I didn't know what I was going to play, you know, showing up, I'm, I feel connected because of you, because I see you. And then also just finding all these different parts that, that, that the songs almost like are, light up different parts of me. And this certainly lights up a, a joyful memory and also, you know, such a sweet and, and a memory of, it's not of loss, but it is definitely of long ago and long ago and something that did have, um, you know, that love affair was like this, you know, like the smell of roses, meaning, meaning it was like something that almost wasn't there. I am going to see. So Stacy, hi, Stacy, <laughs> great to see you again. Um, I will miss these uh, nightly songs and stories. I hope you have a new goal soon. Somebody just asked me that, said, so what's next? And I, and I was thinking possibly something that, that I don't, don't have to stay up really late and do. Um, Renee says, you don't have to wait till it's perfect. Play it as you go. Yeah. Um, that was what I, that was my big thing tonight. And also like, you know, I was just like, oh, it's too bad I never finished that song. And then I was like, what? Finish it now. Finish it. You haven't been able to do it for 40, well, 50, 50 years. I don't know how long. I haven't been able to do it for that long. Do it tonight. <laughs> I was like, okay, I will. Hi, Linda. I hope so. And I'm just going to go and say, and say hello and see if there's any other questions. You know, I love, I love, love, love questions. I'm laughing at myself because I, um, <laughs> myself. <laughs> so one of my goals too was, and I had to have a buddy for this, was to like go on a dating site. And every time I like read people's, people's profiles, I'm like, I have all these questions, like, but how did you do that? And like, well, how, what do you, you know, like, like just all these questions. And I realize it's, that's not necessarily, um, appropriate. Um, Vicky says, Victoria says, I think this song is perfect the way it is. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, tomorrow night, my plan is to sing, I love you just the way you are. Um, Connie says, my harp is beautiful. Does it have a name? Well, 
it's called the DHC. I mean, this is a DHC harp. No, I don't name my harps, and here's why. Um, I really, I consider it a tool, and I mean that in the deepest, most loving way, a tool and a machine. And ever since I was a kid, I love tools. I love machines. I feel like it's got a, it feels like it has a soul, like it wants to be played. But I feel that way about every tool, like like the hammer. It wants to be used, <clears throat> you know, and the, the, the scissors, they, they, I don't know. I just, so, so no, it doesn't have a name, but it does have a spirit for sure. And hello, this is Connie. Hello, hello. I'm just checking to see if there's any questions up here. Okay, go down here. And the other thing I realized, oh, oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> um, Betty is saying, I love your harp. Thank you, Betty. And Victoria is saying, still think you should sing your dating profile. Yeah, I'm definitely considering that. And Connie says, how about a Dear Abby group? We give you one of our, our vulnerable... Connie, I'm ready for it. Oh, you know, you know I love to sing stuff. You know I love to sing what you guys write. Like, well, I still think you should sing your dating profile. I still think you should sing your dating profile. How about a Dear Abby group? We give you one of our vulnerable stories and you sing them to music, absolutely. Renee says, great idea. She says, great idea. I love it. And oh, and uh, somebody just asked, uh, yes, I have all, I have my C's, my F's, and my G levers all marked because there's too many, un there were too many unmarked altogether. I just got confused when there were three in a row. I could never figure out, um, like, where the, <laughs> where that, what they were. There's three in a row. Oh, maybe, I'm not sure which great idea you thought. Yes, I've marked my G. Okay, any other questions? Otherwise, I, you know what I love about this song? I realized, uh oh, see, I don't like it when my hair does that, when it goes out like that. I mean, I do like it because it reminds me of my grandfather, so that I like. But no, no, not, not crazy about that. Um, so one of the things I love about this song is that it also is a lullaby. I noticed. I'll sing to you when you're asleep. Now close. 